Always Dreaming exited his Kentucky Derby win in good order Sunday morning and will ship Monday or Tuesday to Pimlico Racecourse for a run in the Preakness Stakes. Trainer Todd Pletcher confirmed that goal the day after Derby and said Always Dreaming will likely gallop into the second jewel of the Triple Crown. Runner-up looking at Lee also exited the Derby well, according to trainer Steve Asnison, who called the Colt very probable for Preakness. Jerry Hollendorfer trained third, Battle of Midway was also in good condition, with his next target yet to be determined. Derby fourth, Classic Empire, emerged with superficial cuts but significant swelling in his right eye. Trainer Mark Cassie said how the 2016 juvenile male champion responds to treatment will determine whether or not he contests the Preakness. One horse who will not contest the Preakness is McCracken, who sustained a puncture wound in the Derby and will eye the summer races. A horse who will head on to Preakness is Derby also eligible Royal Mo, who worked in 105 Sunday morning at Churchill Downs, trainer John Sheriff said. Gary Stevens has the call. Of the horses that did not run in the Derby, the Pimlico Racing Office said Conquest Mo Money and Senior Investment are still probable as we knew before. We'll keep you posted on additional Preakness contenders that may come up at bloodhorse.com and in Bloodhorse Daily, and we'll see you down the road in Baltimore.